This video was inspired by this Quran verse in Surah Maida, verse 8. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, be steadfast in the cause of Allah, bearing witness in equity, and let not a people's enmity incite you to act unjustly. Be always just, that is nearer to righteousness, and fear Allah, surely Allah is aware of what you do. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. This is a unique kind of video that I'll be doing. The reason it's a special video is because it requires as Muslims and Duat or people in the apologetic scene, Muslim apologetic scene, if we really follow the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we really need to say, you know what, hold on a second. There are sometimes things that require for us to do which the religion teaches us. The Quran teaches us. Allah's Messenger teaches us. And how he dealt with people that hated him. Yeah? Yes, he was a person who was the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also a military man. Yes, of course, when times needed and he saw a threat to his companions, he did what is right. And how people twist this. But mainly he was forgiven and he wanted the best for the people. And we want to learn a lesson from that because he was a mercy to mankind. Yeah? And because of that, brothers and sisters, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that repel evil with what is best. And today we're going to be putting that verse into action. We are going to look at the Prophet Wasallam's life and have mercy to such people like David. Because the hatred inside him has burnt him, is, has, has enraged him to such a level that he has made this an absolute living. And I didn't know that. This guy actually lives off this. I thought he might have a part-time job. Like me personally, I do Uber. You know, I try my best not to rely on this. You know, it's not good for the soul, you know, but it seems like David Wood is doing everything but that. He is, this is his soul, bread and butter. And he is feeding his kids, his two innocent disabled kids, with this very hate. But his kids are free from the father. We're going to watch a video and we're going to react to this video because David Wood's YouTube channel has been demonetized. And it seems like that has really, really got to him. And we're going to learn some lessons. And also we're going to do something special, inshallah, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, we're going to do this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, would David allow us to do it? That's at his discretion. And we're going to wait for him to reply to us. Let's not waste any time and get straight to the video. Now, to everyone else, especially to people who were channel members and people who contributed Super Chats. Fortunately, I have a bunch of supporters on Patreon already, so this isn't a situation where demonetization by YouTube could cause my kids to starve. Although that seems like the goal of... He actually feeds his kids with hate mongering and hate preaching. Also, my wife and I realized that we need to finally install a wheelchair lift in our van. We've been using a ramp for the past three years, but as our two disabled sons have gotten bigger, the ramp isn't working out as well. My wife accidentally started going over the edge of the ramp last month with my son Paley. No injuries. We caught the wheelchair and got Paley back up on the ramp, but we need a lift installed. And the estimate I got was roughly eight times higher than I thought it would be. So losing income right now doesn't help, but we can always do a GoFundMe for something like that. You know what, David? Your kids are innocent to this matter. Eight times the price? No problem. We as the Muslim community, and I'm sure non-Muslims will be given as well, we are ready. Yes, you heard it right. We as the Muslim community are ready to raise eight times the amount. Yes, inshallah, with the permission of God Almighty. I know a lot of Muslims are going to be watching this and be like, what? Brother Ali, what? This filthy liar, this person who insults the Prophet, rips the Quran, you want to raise funds for his kids? Yes. Because the Quran and the Sunnah tells us to. How? Brothers and sisters, when given in Sadaqah, yeah, we are not told. Zakat, yes, Zakat has a portion to the Muslims, like the poor, yeah, the poor people, yeah. We are allowed to give, and we are going to give. If you follow the Quran and the Sunnah, genuinely, yes, you will give, inshallah, brothers and sisters. That is the reason we're going to do it, and I urge every single people to do it. You know why? Because these kids are innocent. Their dad is a hate-filled preacher who does nothing but lies. And because we Muslims criticize Christianity, criticize, not insult, we don't insult the Trinity, we don't insult Jesus, peace be upon him, we don't insult, we criticize and say this doesn't make sense. And because they are hurt by that, and because they can't answer these questions, what do they do instead? 
They think, we know, we'll attack Islam and lie and mock. That's not the two same things. So please get that right. So guys, because of that, eight times the amount. Here's the conditions. We will do a GoFundMe. Not Just a quick disclaimer. I know very well he's going to be saying, I'm not going to accept no money from jihadis. Well, uh, guess what? Um, it's not from us. We know you're going to be using that excuse. It's from the Muslim community. We're just setting up the GoFundMe. And what we give privately, that's on our account. That's got nothing to do with you. That's between us and our Lord. But it's the Muslim community. Your GoFundMe, because we don't know if you're going to use the money there. Give us the exact amount or we can... You choose. You choose. We are going to nominate. We're going to find somebody in Muslim near your area. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, no, no. You know what? You're going to probably think, you know, it's a set up. They're going to try to kill me kind of nonsense, yeah? No problem, yeah? However comfortable. We can get a Muslim. He will have the funds. He will go with you or wherever you like to get it. Or we will go and buy it. We will transfer the funds to the company. And you will go and pick it up. That's a deal. I am looking for you to contact me. And we would like to go ahead and set up a GoFundMe. Tell us how much it is. And we are going to do this. Because we don't believe the amount of money you make on YouTube is probably $10,000 or more plus a month. Yeah, uh, we don't believe in your lies um, uh, that, you know, it's, it's, it's impacted you in that context. $10,000, I don't know what kind of lavish life you need to live. However, we acknowledge that you have disabled kids and we are going to, inshallah, with the permission of God, first we want to ask you to get a real job. Please get a real job and earn a proper living, yeah, instead of begging, spreading hate. And we are going to fund, inshallah, totally or a part of that. So... The call is yours. You want to accept, you don't want to accept, that is up to you. Yeah? You want to twist this, do whatever you like. We as the Muslim community, and I'm telling you, everyone be on board. For your kids, if they need that lift, we are ready to purchase it. We're ready to purchase it. Please get in contact with me, um, uh, your team members, whoever it may be. This is done for the sake of Allah, for your kids. Yeah? Okay, because as Muslims, we believe in Sadaqah Jari. Anything that we do good to anybody, we get benefits in the hereafter. So as your kids use this lift, hopefully it'll be a reward for us. And hopefully it can make ease them. And hazards won't happen uh, of them falling and you claim your income is hurt. No problem. We are happy that your income is hurt. Not because your kids are going to suffer. No, 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 no. We are happy because this is your source of income to spread hate and lies. But for your kids, no problem. We as a Muslim community will come together. So guys, that's about from the video, inshallah, and um, whoever's watching this, guys, once we start the fundraiser, inshallah, if they firstly <laughs> allow us, if he doesn't allow us, it says a lot about himself. Um, and we're going to see, inshallah, we are ready and happy and willingly, willingly want to do this good deed for his kids. His kids are innocent brothers and sisters, and may Allah deal with this person, or may Allah guide him. Yeah, till next time, inshallah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please share this video wide inshallah and like we said before this is a part of our religion brothers and sisters sometimes to have mercy rather than hatred till next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i need some sleep Oof.